this week in the red carpet is rolled out over in Hollywood, and Sarah is standing by with a whole preview of the Oscars. Now with Hollywood's biggest night just days away, movie fans are excited to see who will win the coveted Academy Award. And here to recap all the races and give his expert opinion is IMDb's special correspondent, Dave Carger. Hey Dave, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, Sarah, good morning. All right, so let's break it all down. Who do you think is a lock to win their category this Sunday? I think pretty much all the acting categories are sewn up. I think Gary Oldman's going to win Best Actor for playing Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. I think Frances McDormand will win Best Actress for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. This will be her second Oscar. She won for Fargo about 20 years ago. Her co-star Sam Rockwell, also from Three Billboards, he'll probably win Best Supporting Actor. And then I love Allison Janney, who plays Tanya Harding's yeah. mom in I, Tanya, and I think that she's going to win as well. So those races are pretty easy to predict, but there's some other ones like Best Picture that are real races, thankfully. Okay, what about Meryl, the, the grand dame of Hollywood? You don't think she has a chance, Meryl Streep? <laughs> No, she's going to have to go home and just be happy with the three Oscars she already has because she really has no chance to win for the post. I think if there's anyone that could upset Frances McDormand, it's maybe someone like Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water or even Sir Ronan for Lady Bird. Meryl is just going to have to smile and applaud from her seat this time. Somehow I think she'll be okay now. What are your predictions for Best Director? Guillermo del Toro, who did The Shape of Water, is so beloved in Hollywood, and I think so many people with what he was able to do with that just beautiful kind of fairy tale of a film. And I think regardless of what happens with Best Picture, because in the last couple of years we've seen one movie win Best Director and then another movie win Best Picture, I think that could happen again this year. So Guillermo del Toro will win Best Director, but I think a movie like Three Billboards or even maybe Get Out could win Best Picture. There is a female nominee and that has been a big deal in the past. Yeah, I mean, Greta Gerwig, who wrote and directed Lady Bird and was nominated in both categories, she's only the fifth woman ever to be nominated. Only one woman has ever won that category, Catherine Bigelow, uh, for um, The Hurt Locker. So it would be great to see Greta Gerwig win, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Now, have you seen any trends this award season? I definitely have. I think that the Academy is acknowledging a newer generation of filmmaker, people like Jordan Peele, who wrote and directed Get Out. It's his first movie, and he got three nominations for writing, directing, and producing it. Greta Gerwig, who I just mentioned. Also, people like Paul Thomas Anderson, who directed Phantom Thread. So instead of Steven Spielberg and people that they've nominated many times in the past, I think they're looking to a newer generation. I think that's exciting. All right. Well, it's such a big night, and thank you so much for joining us, Dave. We cannot, we, we all can't wait for the Oscars. Well, I'll be on IMDb during the whole telecast on the commercial breaks with, with commentary, so please join me on the website or the app. Great. Thanks, Dave.